What's good, YouTube? I should probably start out with introducing myself. My name is Amethyst. I make all kinds of electronic music and stuff like that. Um, before I get into anything, though, I'd like to apologize for the mic quality. I have a better mic, but there was a problem with OBS, so I couldn't use it. But the show must go on, so I hope it's not too bad. Uh, this is my first tutorial, so any feedback in the comments would be greatly appreciated. Let me know how I can do better next time. Um, and yeah, without any further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Pause, pause, pause. I just wanted to add that the techniques in this tutorial are not exclusive to Serum. So if you don't have Serum or you just prefer to use something else, you can apply these techniques to whatever your favorite synth is and you should get a similar sound. Carry on. First, I'll just play the beat through so you can get a little preview of the sound that we're going to be making and maybe a little idea of how you can apply it. All right, now I'll solo the sound so you can hear that. already got another instance of Serum open on the initialized preset. Let's make this sound from scratch. So you're not going to change the wavetable. You're actually not going to change anything here yet. Um, let's activate oscillator B. Again, not going to change the wavetable. We're, we're going to bring that level all the way down. We're going to take oscillator A down one octave an oscillator B up one octave. I'm going to throw a mirror onto oscillator B, turn it to about there or whatever you prefer. Um, then we're going to take an FM oscillator A from B. So, got it to sound like that. I'm going to take this envelope down here and I'm gonna kind of shape it a little bit something like that perfect now I'm gonna activate the filter and I'm gonna go to comb h6 plus and I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit until it sounds nice Alright, nice. Sounded nice and metallic. Um, and I think that's actually it for this section. Uh, then go into the effects section and we'll work on that. So first you're going to want to throw a chorus on there. Um, for the chorus you're going to want to bring the sky up, the low pass filter, I want to bring the feed up, you're going to want to bring the rate down and you're going to want to bring the depth down. Now you're going to want to add a hyper dimension and take down the mix of the hyper and bring up the mix of the dimension a little bit. There you go. Now you're going to want to add a compressor, turn it on to multiband. Just going to Tweak this a little. You can tweak this however you like. That's how I like it, so I'm going to leave it there. Alright, next you're going to want to add a delay. Um, you saw earlier I added a comb filter. Basically what a comb filter is, is just a really short delay. And I'm just going to kind of 
double that up a little bit. So let's take this guy. Let's bring it all the way down to the hair. We're gonna take the feedback up. Actually take the feedback up a little more. Take the mix up a little bit. And there you have it. That's the base of the sound. Now I'm just gonna take the beat. I'm gonna duplicate it over here. Then I'm gonna copy this. Oh, copy my dude. I'm gonna find an empty pattern and just paste that into my new instance of Serum. And I just, for this, um, this little extra note here, I just duplicated the instance of Serum because I didn't want the pitch automation to affect this like one note. So I'm just going to do the same in this pattern and just paste that right into there. Now back in Serum, you're going to want to go down here. Actually, let me get rid of that. I'm going to take this up to 12. And I'm going to take this up to 12. So that's two octaves in total. Now I'm just going to kind of play with that knob a little and then going to go to add and then automation for last week parameter. And then I'm just going to shorten it a bit. Bring it all the way up and all the way down. Let's see how that sounds. All right, good. And in the other part here, you can kind of hear in between these little breaks right here, there's like a reverb swell. And to accomplish that, all you do is you go to your sound, throw a reverb on there, give it whatever settings you think fits better, fits best, and then you automate the wet level. And that is pretty much it. Like I said, this is my first tutorial, so any feedback down in the comments would be greatly appreciated. Um, subscribe if you want to see more, and like it if you did like it. Thanks for watching.